it's Red Lace, and uh, today we are playing Starbound on the PC. And um, I've already gone ahead and made a character, so that you guys don't have to sit through me deciding what color hair I want, because that takes me forever. <laughs> um, so I have chosen a glitch for my race, which is the robotic race. Um, they look like little robots made out of steel and uh, have mechanical eyes and so forth. <laughs> and um, so I have chosen a glitch, and my name is Lady Starsprocket. <laughs> And um, so here we are, just dropped into the game. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Time for an upgrade. As one of the few glitch to achieve self-awareness, I was forced to flee my home with little preparation. My ship has been damaged and I'm in orbit of an unknown planet. To keep moving, I'll need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. Hey Gaming Giraffe, how's it going? Welcome. Alright, so this thing's blinking, so let's check it out. This is Sail, the ship-based artificial intelligence lattice, and it is running some serious errors. Oh, look at the little rabbit in the glitch's helmet. <laughs> so we're going to reboot the ship AI and issue the command. Oh, look, the ship got lights. Boot initialized. New super user acquired. Greetings, my liege. Sail at your service. I have enabled your ship's backup power. The thrusters and FTL drive are still offline. We should start by enabling your matter manipulator. Oh, you have some news, gaming draft? Tell me all about it. Okay, so let's enable the matter manipulator. To wield the matter manipulator is to wield magic itself. Yay! We have a matter manipulator! We can mine stuff now! Woohoo! Enable teleporter. The ship's short range teleporter will magically transport you to the planet's surface. Yeah, let's do that. New quest. A flash of light. The first thing I should do is check the ship's locker. At the very least I'll need a flashlight, but there should be some other supplies in there too. Okay. Oh, you married Leia in Stardew Valley. Congratulations, congratulations, gaming giraffe. And you got a void chicken, and you got a horse, and named him Yoshi. <laughs> oh, I must say I inspired that one. <laughs> and you got ducks. Congratulations, that's awesome. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> All right, so let's check out the ship's locker. And it said we needed the flashlight, so there it is. So let's grab that. Quest complete. A flashlight, a weapon, and a few torches for good measure. Time for me to head down to the planet. New quest. Shop class. It's time to make a crafting table. I should beam down to the planet and use my matter manipulator to fell trees for wood. Then press C to open my crafting menu and see what I'll need. Okay. Throw my flashlight there. Grab those torches and put them there. Looks like I have a choice of two weapons. So I have a beta 0 0.5 short sword, which is a one-handed weapon. Five damage per swing, or rate of fire of 1.6. Then I have a broken rune wraith sword, which is a broad sword, two-handed, damage per swing 10.5, rate of fire of 1.2, with a special spin slash attack. So I'm going to take the two-handed weapon. I tend to prefer two-handed weapons in this game. It's just the way I roll. <laughs> is that my pet? I have a baby pig! Look at how cute he is! <laughs> oh no! I can't get to him though, the door won't open. It's locked! It's locked! So you like my outfit? I went with uh, purple hair, because, uh, well, it seemed appropriate, and a big orange gown, because I am Lady Starsprocket, after all. <laughs> So uh, it's the start of a new week here, and I would like to go ahead and thank my top donors. Currently uh, this week is Scuffy Scoundrel with $10, and this month is R.G. Loxton with $18. And uh, I'd really like to thank both of them. All donations go towards helping me bring you more gaming videos more often, so I really appreciate the support, guys. Okay, so looks like there's some stuff down here. What's that? Rice. Learn to craft pearl pea risotto. And a red petal. Used to craft red dye. 
So I want to mark my spawn point here. Just right about here. So we'll just mark that with a torch so I know where I came in. And uh, looks like there's some coal and a tree. So I am using X Patter to play this game instead of a keyboard and mouse. And uh, yesterday, if you were with me, I tried to set it up. And um, looks like there was a little bit of an update to the controls since the last time I played Starbound. So my controller was totally wiggity whack. And I couldn't do anything. Wow, it's nighttime already? So um, yeah, I spent some time last night setting up my controller. So now it should be all good. It's time for a hoedown. <laughs> to start farming, I'll need a way to till the soil. I should craft a hoe using some wood and copper bars. Looks like I get five wheat seeds as a reward. Not that I can see anything. What's the luck that I got here when it was dark? That's a bummer. Give me coal! I really need to find some vines so I can get some bandages going because if a monster finds me, I'm going to be in a pickle. Uh, the matter manipulator is so weak when you first get it, I totally forgot. <laughs> Takes forever just to dig out this tiny little bit of coal. Okay, so my first quest... Oh, I missed one. We better get that too. We need it all, and it seems, you know, relatively safe in my little watery ditch right now, so... Let's uh, check out our quests here. Looks like we have three. So we can't do that because we have to go down to the planet's center. We need to make a crafting table. So let's go ahead and make a crafting table. Um, what do we need? Looks like we can make wood planks now. Log blocks. Wood platforms. Campfire. Wooden crafting table. Looks like we do not have the wood planks, so we need 35 wood planks to make the crafting table. So uh, let's go ahead and just use most of our wood here. Do that. Also make a campfire. Make a campfire and a crafting table. I can use this to craft things I wouldn't make with just my bare hands. Quest complete. Great, I can use this crafting table to create lots of items that I can't make with my bare hands. Okay. Hey cat! Nice to see you again. Oh, your power went out. That sucks. I, uh, I don't know if you saw yesterday in Stardew, your advice came to fruition and, um, Grandpa did show up again. <laughs> and, uh, I got that statue of perfection because all the four candles lit, so thank you for that. Couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> okay, new quest. Prepare yourself. Plant fibers can be used to fashion bandages in case I get hurt. I should chop down some vines to obtain plant fibers and turn them into a bandage by hand. Better safe than sorry. I agree. Being safe sounds like a plan to me. Alright. Where's my crafting table? Here's my crafting table. And my campfire. So let's stick that somewhere. I don't really have a good spot here. I'm not on a flat place at all. Maybe I'll, I'll flatten this out a little. Make a little dent. Yeah, Kat, that statue of perfection is awesome. I ended up um, <laughs> just spitting out iridium ore every morning. So I get like five to seven iridium ore every day now. It's just wonderful. I think tomorrow I'll be upgrading weapons. Okay. There's a little butterfly flying around me. It's like, I want to hang out in your new place. My new dirty, gravelly hovel. <laughs> okay. Campfire. Check. Um, I will be doing a Stardew Valley stream tomorrow. 
Today I am doing Starbound, which is another Chucklefish game, and uh, it's one of my favorites, so I thought I'd give it a play day. But I will definitely be streaming Stardew Valley tomorrow. Okay, just getting rid of these background blocks because I don't really like them. And uh, then we're going to check our quest log and see what's next here. I think I need to find some trees. I'm relieved so far that no monsters are around. Hey Dancer Hope, thank you for the follow. Great to have you. Really appreciate it. Okay, so... Bear with me guys, like I said, I just finished setting up my x pattern yesterday so I can play with my controller, so I'm a little rusty. <laughs> my sword is like the size of me or bigger. That's crazy. Here's a tree. Wish the day would come back. Uh oh! Monster! Looks like she's got giant pigtails coming at me. <laughs> no match for my monster sword though. <laughs> All right, let's fell some of these trees and get some wood. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this one's fast. Oh, and he got me. Got me twice. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, we're safe again. Nighttime is dangerous here in Starbound. Oh, look. There's, like, meteor shower going on. I like when these happen because they actually provide you extra light and so you can actually see um, during the nighttime a lot better. Uh, it's one of the cool things planets have. Each planet has its own weather and um, you start on a random planet. It's generally a forest like I'm in right now and um, they're usually pretty friendly. I mean they all have monsters but it's survivable. They're not going to throw you on a planet that's you know ridiculously hard. So when you're getting started you start on an easy planet and the weather patterns are random. So it's nice that I have these meteor showers because I always look for those. I like the nighttime light. <laughs> it's like having a little flashlight that I don't have to equip. Alright, we are racking up the wood now. Looks like there's a is that a pearl pea plant right there? What is that? Pearl peas! I've learned to craft boiled pearl peas. And that'll keep growing as long as I don't knock it out, so I'll just leave it there. Okay. Plenty of wood. I should probably plant some of those trees back in the ground that I just knocked out so I actually have um, <laughs> there you go. I'm jumping when I mean to do something else. There's my expert controls right now. Alright, let's plant some trees. And it doesn't really matter how close together they are. They're pretty much grow no matter what. So we're not going to have any shortage of trees at this point forward. <laughs> Just keep planting. Like There's all the seeds I have, so that'll do. Do I have any food? I guess I have a potato seed. They have some pearl peas. Well, that just won't do. That just won't do at all. Okay. Um, we need to craft a hoe. So let's see if we can do that, and then maybe we can plant some of these seeds in the ground. Head back to my little crafting table. Alright, now we have all sorts of choices for things we can make. Gunpowder, cabin roofing, cobblestone brick, um, I need a hoe, packed dirt. Torches, chairs, doors, gates. There's a hoe. Okay, so we need copper bars, so we don't have copper yet. Alright, so that might be a minute. Okay, well let's, uh, 
Let's just go along the surface of the planet here and see if we can't find anything of interest. I always like to explore the surface. So, uh, see if we can find any goodies. Especially while the sun's out. Hey look, there's some fence over here. I'll just be taking that. <laughs> and some plant matter blocks. Those are florin type of material. Why they are here, I do not know. It's a little rabbit. That wasn't so bad. I could make all sorts of things from plant fibers, from ropes to fabric. Okay, well there's a monster here, so we're going to have to read that in a minute. For fear I might die. <laughs> Can I make bandages now? I only have one plant fiber, so I can't. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, fruit trees do not grow in winter in Stardew Valley Gaming Draft. Sorry, they do not. And you cannot grow them in your greenhouse. Okay, here's another monster. Let's let her come at us. We'll be patient. Ish. <laughs> Go away, monster. You are not welcome here. What is this? A ruin. Nothing too interesting. Well, if we could find some coal without having to go underground, I'd be very happy. There's vines. We need that. Let's get corn. Um, they don't disappear in winter, no. They, um, they just don't grow anything, so it's just like a regular tree in the wintertime. Alright. Vines. We're going to make bandages. Hey Izzy, thank you. I'm glad you found me on YouTube. Glad you liked the videos. I will be streaming Stardew Valley again tomorrow. Today we are playing Starbound, one of my favorite games. It's also a Chucklefish title. If you haven't played Starbound, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's really fun. Alright, sometimes he has have good things that happen and sometimes they don't, so let's find out. Healing! Yay! I needed that. <laughs> That's why I'm down here getting vines. I need band-aids. I need lots and lots of band-aids. I tend to get hurt a lot. <laughs> Better to be safe than sorry. Okay. The matter manipulator can reach pretty far, which is nice. You can get lots of things from high up and far away without having to be right next to them, so that's cool. Okay, let's make bandages. Where's that button? Bandage. I'm going to make as many as I can. 36. Hey, Gab. It's always a cheerful, happy stream around here. <laughs> Stick those up there. Um, hmm. Can't remember what I have set up here. One of these is like an instant heal, but looks like I'm full, so it doesn't matter. Starbound is pretty cool. I love this game. Definitely fun. If you like exploration games, this is one for you. Lots of exploring, lots of crafting. I like building, so I build some pretty big houses, and now that you can have villagers and tenants and stuff, I like to build like a big community. So I build a bunch of houses around and make like a little town on planet surface, so I'm gonna hopefully be doing all of that. But we were just getting started today. I started a brand new character and uh, see where it goes here. <laughs> Lady Star Sprocket. <laughs> oh, it's dark in here. Alright, well, I went up there, so I'm going to have to dig our way, I guess, to get up there. 
Digging out dirt. Can I get up there now? Nope. I'm too tall. I'm four blocks high. There we go. Make a nice little tunnel. Those little silver things drop pixels, which is the currency used in the game. And uh, so pixels are good. These things. Break those whenever you see them, especially early game. Oh, the monsters are after me. No! You may not come over here. Hey, look, I learned to craft flares. There's more monsters in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm rusty. Alright, let's just try to get out of this hole we're in. Oh yeah, I forgot I don't have double jump. I need, um, platforms. Platforms. Wood platforms. Make just a couple of those. I don't have a lot of wood on me right now. Stick those up there. Alright. Platform. There we go. Now we can get back to the surface. Monster! Uh oh, it's getting dark again. A sharpened claw. Well, at least she didn't use that sharpened claw on us. I guess there's that. Okay. Come on, planet. Give me something good. Ooh, rice. Don't mind if I do. So I'm excited to play as a glitch today. I haven't played it as a glitch. Um, I've played as a human a lot. And uh, I've played as an avian. And an apex and a florin a few times. I like playing as the florins as well. So uh, today is my first time playing as a glitch. And it's kind of interesting to hear the little noises I make when I get hit. <laughs> oh, those are potatoes hiding in the ground. Get out my flashlight here so I can actually see. You unlock a backpack or a lantern on a stick at some point, which is like a form of a backpack, and um, that makes all the difference in the world wandering around at nighttime. But until I get that, I am stuck using my flashlight. Is that a sleeping bag? Can I sleep here? Just gonna take over this guy's place real quick. <laughs> Thanks for your money. I'm taking your sleeping bag. I don't have a bed. I'm gonna take your lantern too. What do you think of that? This camper is going to come back and realize he's been robbed. <laughs> I take it English isn't your first language, is he then? I'm glad you can understand me. I try to speak clearly. <laughs> make that jump? Yes. Oh look, it's a well. Looks like it goes down, but there's usually nothing in the bottom of wells, but I will take it. Makes a nice decoration. Oh, you're French. Okay. Uh, my French is pretty terrible. I know a few phrases and that's about it. Like, um, this is probably going to be really bad. I'll probably butcher it, but Je ne comprends pas, I think is how you say. I don't understand. <laughs> I probably shouldn't try to speak French. <laughs> oh, I got it right? Okay. <laughs> Yay! My limited French. <laughs> My boyfriend speaks French pretty well. He can get by. I just need to know a couple things and 
not a lot of French speaking around here, so I only use it when I go up to Canada. I feel like I could use some practice in my French skills. <laughs> all the flowers. Okay. I wish you could skip today. don't like the night time. It's dark and spooky. Gathering lots of food, though. Monsters! Oh, look! He dropped steak. Mmm, steak. <laughs> Um, I will probably stream for a couple hours. I usually try to stream for around two to three hours each day. Uh, it just depends on what I'm doing. Uh, today we're getting started, so... Oh, that really hurt. Um, I thought I'd get to a... Maybe try to get to the outpost today, and uh, I'm far away from that right now, so we'll see how it goes, but I usually just try to stream as long as I can. More wheat. This planet seems pretty big. I thought we would have been back to our camp by now. Could start venturing underground to get some coal and things. What is that little guy? Like a frog? Looks like he's stuck on something. Looks like I'm in some weird florin thing. What is this? I guess it doesn't look like it's anything. Um, can I make more torches right now? Because I could probably use some. Can't make very many, but we'll do it. Four. <laughs> Four measly torches. It's better than no torches, right? Okay. There's like snails and all sorts of things here. Oh, you're getting close to the greenhouse, Giraffe. That's awesome. Yeah, if you're getting close to winter, or are you in winter now? Definitely want to get that. Oh, I did not see that monster. Just kind of blended in. All right. Ouch. There we go. Take a bandage. You need five gold parsnips. Well, if you get your greenhouse, you could plant them inside the greenhouse. So, there's that. Hey, it's our first chest. Ooh, and we got a gun. The Shade Company Plantin Forcer. 3.1 damage per shot with a rate of fire 1.9, 6.5 energy. Let's rock that. I like a good weapon. <laughs> more bandages and four iron ore okay and we will take the chest too because we don't have one all right where's my gun I'm trying to remember my controls here guys just bear with me <laughs> okay here's our new weapon yeah it's pretty slow fire rate but it could help us in our time of need. Oh, you got the fish tank done, Kate. That, cat, that's awesome. Congratulations. Cat's rolling into year four. Look at her go. You're like going to be in year five in no time. I'm glad it helped. I think uh, I have one more to upload, and that's the bulletin board, and I'll be uploading the bulletin board for Stardew Valley probably tomorrow. Um, I have some editing to do, and then it will be online as well. Okay. Take this. Yeah, unless you're planning on saving up for those bundles draft it it's a uh, it's time consuming and you have to find a lot of stuff uh oh that monster's trying to kill that person no get away I'll save him I'll save you who's this 
Do you talk? Do you do anything? She's not even thankful. Okay, pixels. Ten wood. Look at all these crates. Four iron. This is like the jackpot early game. You should cut down vines when you see them. They're used for bandages and climbing rope. Both useful. You know, you're standing in the way of a crate, lady, and I can't open it with you standing there. <laughs> yeah, the community center is tough to manage. I uh, ended up making a big fat Excel spreadsheet that, um, that's kind of interesting, whatever that is, that, uh, told me what I needed and all that stuff and I could check it off as I went and, um, mark down, like, side notes on how to get things or all sorts of little things. I'm overly organized that way. <laughs> Probably didn't need to do it, but I did it anyway. <laughs> Uh-oh, I think there's a bat. Or something. It's got a giant tongue. It's coming at me. Come get it. Oh. That one hit me. That is one ugly looking bat. Like, its tongue's hanging way out of its mouth. <laughs> okay. Sometimes if we just knock a hole in the wall, you can get light, but it doesn't look like that's the case down here, so we'll actually have to make some torches. Wah, wah. Hey Panda, I am playing Starbound today, which is a, another Chucklefish title. In the spirit of Stardew Valley, I had a Chucklefish hankering and decided to play another one of their games, which Starbound is like a planetary adventure game where you traverse the galaxy and uh, explore underground and planet surfaces with lots of different biomes. There's a huge crafting component to this game. You do a lot of crafting. And uh, there's also a big outpost center that you can get to anytime. And uh, from there you can talk to merchants and get quests and upgrade your ship. Uh, you have a spaceship that you're using to travel around and uh, it's not like an attack-based ship, you just travel from place to place. But the only attack or combat you have is actually on the planet's surface. Uh, with the monsters that you find. <laughs> yes, I am a robot. I am a glitch, which is one of the races. I think there's... You have a choice of race you want to play as, and you can be a human, an avian, which is like a bird type of race, an apex, which is an ape, a florin, which is like a a vine-like wild creature, um, a glitch, which are the robots, which is what I chose, and you can also play as a... what are the other ones? Um, there's a new one, I can't remember what it's called. I'm drawing a blank. Hey Tyron! Um, I will be playing Stardew Valley tomorrow, for sure. But today I thought I'd take a break from Stardew and play some Starbound. I had some people requesting it, and uh, since it is another Chucklefish title, I thought, why not try something different for an afternoon? Mix it up a little. Hey look, there's the four copper we needed. We needed copper to make a hoe, so now we can make a hoe to start planting crops. So that'll be nice. I am just stocking up in here like this is a treasure trove of stuff for early game. I'm really glad I found this structure. It's like an underground mine shaft. It's pretty cool. Yep, Izzy's right. I will be playing Stardew Valley tomorrow. But I hope you guys hang out with me to play Starbound. This is a fun game too. All right, what's up here? Monsters. It's attacking from the top. So if you're enjoying the stream today, 
please be sure to follow me on YouTube, subscribe to me on YouTube, <laughs> uh, follow me on Twitch, and follow me here on Twitter, or Twitch. I'm drawing a blank right now. Um, <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. Um, but you can follow me at all those places, YouTube, Twitter, and Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. You can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com. And if you'd like to make a donation, you can do that directly from my Twitch page. Anything helps go towards bringing you more gaming videos more often. I really appreciate it. See you later, little panda. Thanks for stopping by today. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no, I got killed. Oh no. 30% of my pixels are lost. Hey Romar. Starbound is a wonderful game. It is a planetary adventure game. You start out on this ship. Um, starts pretty small. Thank you for the follow, Izzy. That is awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, so you start out on this little ship and you have a whole galaxy to explore, but to start with, you have to actually explore the planet's surface and repair your ship so you can travel to other planets. Hey Storm, how you doing? Thanks for joining us. But that's a big crafting game, adventure game, mining game. There's NPCs to interact with. You can be a landlord and have tenants so you can manage housing, things like that. Uh, you can build housing. It's a pretty involved game and um, it's very fun. And all the planets are randomly generated, so you get random biomes, underground biomes, dungeons, villages, all sorts of things. It does have multiplayer, yes. Yeah, I'm just playing single player right now because I'm just getting started on my new character. Lady Star Sprocket. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to chop down some more of these trees so I can get some more wood. Are you laughing at me dying? <laughs> uh. Well, that little monster didn't have a chance. <laughs> yeah, I haven't played as the Glitch before. I've played as the humans, the avians, and the florins, and uh, apex once. So, I thought I'd play as the Glitch today. A little beep bop boop. <laughs> Well, I died once already, but not a huge deal, just getting started. You do lose um, some pixels on death. I'm playing in casual mode, so I just lose pixels on death, which isn't so bad. Um, you can play on harder modes and you'll lose more than that, but I thought I'd just start here. So, <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and make ourselves a little shelter, because I'm feeling awfully exposed right now. So we'll make... Can I make 40? Yeah, let's make 40 pieces of wood. And we'll make 60 roof pieces. Oh, you make mods for Starbound Storm? That's awesome. What mods do you make? Maybe I will download one of them and play with your mod. Right now I'm playing vanilla, so uh, no mods here at the moment, but I do occasionally look through the mods and check those out. So uh, let's make our house over here. We're going to fill in this little hole, so we're just going to make a tiny little house for now just to get us started. You've made macro trip macro chip and greebles. So what are those? 
What do those two mods do? Which would I consider better, Starbound or Stardew Valley? Well, I think they are two very different games, so I don't know if they compare directly. Um, I don't think I have a favorite between the two of them. I'm really enjoying Stardew Valley, and I always have enjoyed Starbound. Um, it's an ever-changing, ever-growing game, and so I, I can't seem to get enough of it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. That's that's pretty hard to say, just because they are such different games. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Wrong button. Need to make a couple doors for my house here. Where's the doors? There's a door. I need two doors. Oh. I'm so rusty on the controls. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, how high are the doors? Yeah, you know, the doors are five high. I was thinking they might be one more, but I guess wrong. Not four, they're five. Macro trip chip is for wiring, lets you make circuits inside one object. And Greebles is extra tiles and objects to go with titanium, durasteel, and a higher tier themed furniture. Oh, okay, so it's you actually make furniture then? I always like the ones that make make furniture. I liked the one that was um, like the general goods store. I really liked that one. I'm not sure who made it. I don't know if they've even been updating it, so it might be to put these days. I'm not sure. So we need to make walls behind our house here so monsters don't spawn inside. Don't want monsters in the house. Welcome back, Gaming Giraffe. Oh, we're out of wood. We're out of wood planks, anyway. Let's make some more. Make another 50 to get us going. Well, I don't have any glass yet, Storm, so if I make windows, the monsters will spawn. So I think right now we're going to roll windowless. <laughs> and, uh... When I get glass, I will make windows later. But for now, we just want to be safe. We want this a monster-free zone, so I don't have to live outside. <laughs> Alright, where's my roof tiles? Okay, let's grab those. This will be our little starter house. I don't think any meteors spawn on starter planets, so I don't think I have to worry about my house getting destroyed here, which is good. Definitely good. Okay. Do to do. Making a roof for our little tiny house. Alright, that looks good enough, right? We could add a, a chimney, I suppose. Should we add a chimney? Weather is safe. Thank you for confirming that. So all is well here in our dinky little abode. <laughs> our little starter house. Make some cobblestone brick. Hi Bolt, how's it going today? Welcome. How's your Sunday treating you? Oh yeah, I guess I do need something underneath because I am floating, aren't I? <laughs> Can't have floating houses? That's not okay. <laughs> Alright, wood struts. Let's do that. That's a good suggestion. Um... Oops. I guess I didn't interact with the crafting table. It could be a magical house. It could just have mad skills in the floating department. 
Maybe um, I brought down some special glitch um, technology and I can, my houses can float. <laughs> Okay, um, let's get underneath here so we can actually put the strut down. So I think we will extend the stone here. Maybe we should do that. And then, and I just barricaded myself in like an idiot. <laughs> uh, we'll fix that in a second. Well, will fix it. And then we'll get our support. Well, now I did it. I don't want that there. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. You're in winter you, year two in Stardew Valley. That's awesome, Bolt. I am currently in fall of year three in Stardew Valley. And I will be streaming that again tomorrow takes so long to break stone with your first level matter manipulator. Okay, so let's get this pier. How's that? Is that a support? Looks kind of funny, doesn't it? I think we need one on the other side. Okay. This looks weird. Why does it look weird? I know why it looks weird. Okay. Don't mind me. I am um, a bit of a, a perfectionist when it comes to some things, and well, <laughs> you're witnessing it firsthand. <laughs> okay. Get rid of that. And where did my struts go? There we go. The house is no longer floating. There we go, Storm. <laughs> I no longer live in a floating house. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. There we go. Safety. Safety at last. Let's move the crafting table in the house now that we have a safe spot to be. So we don't have to worry about monsters attacking us in the middle of the night. Because that's never fun, if I do say so myself. I'd really like to get back to where I was underground there, because there was all sorts of tools and things in that little place. So... What was that quest we had? To stay healthy and add to my combat effectiveness, I'll need to cook some food. I should obtain some raw steak by killing a monster with a hunting bow or a hunting spear and cook it on a campfire to produce cooked steak. Well, guess what? I already have cooked steak, and I didn't need a hunting spear or a hunting bow. So, let's go cook it. Interact with the campfire here. Just pop in our raw meat and cook. Alright, look at that. I'm an expert chef. <laughs> Quest complete. Delicious. I'm sure I can cook some even tastier dishes once I find better ingredients. Maybe I should craft a hoe and find some seeds I can plant. New quest. Out of the frying pan. To make more advanced items, I'll need to craft a stone furnace using the crafting table. With a stone furnace, I'll be able to smelt raw ores into refined metal bars. Well, we definitely want to be able to do that. Um, so we'll just make my... I need a little, like, attic in my house, don't I? We'll deal with that later. <laughs> um, where is that... Oh, yeah, okay. 
go over here and I can make a hoe because I found four of those. It is one of those basic houses. I mean, we don't really need anything fancy right now. We'll make a nice house later, but for now, we really just need a place to to lay our head at night so the monsters don't attack us. So I'm not really worried about how it looks at the moment. It's basic, but it'll get the job done, and then we can get a fancier place later. Okay, so we need the furnace before we can make copper bars to get our hoe. So, uh, where's the furnace? Stone furnace. We need a campfire, so let's make another campfire so we can keep our one that's outside. And then we can make a stone furnace. Craft. Quest complete. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Time to play with the fire. This should work for most basic metals like copper and iron, which I should be able to use to build a more advanced furnace later. Okay, new quest. Tools for the job. I'm going to need better equipment if I'm going to survive down here. I should start by making use of a furnace and smelting some iron ore to obtain an iron bar. The deeper underground I go, the more likely I am to find ore. Isn't that the truth? Okay, so let's put down our furnace. We'll just move this real quick and stick it right here. Seems like a good spot. And, um,. Looks like uh, we can make a couple things, so let's go ahead and do that. We can make four copper, so that'll get us our hoe. And twelve iron bars. Quest complete. Nice! I'll need a whole bunch of these iron bars to build better gear, but before I can do that, I'm going to need something to forge them on. New quest, forging ahead. To make use of stronger and more valuable ores, I need an iron anvil. With an anvil, I can prepare myself for the dangers ahead. I can make one with the crafting table. Okie dokie. So first things first, let's make our hoe. Because we don't have any food planted. So um, let's do that real fast. Um, where is it? Do do do. Hoe. There we go. 25 wood planks and 4 copper bars. Quest complete. Hello, Locks for Life. How are you doing today? This should do the job. With this and a watering can, I can get to work growing crops. A watering can? No one said anything about that. To grow crops, I'll need to keep the soil moist. I should craft a wooden watering can. Okay, well... There's the wooden wooden watering can. 50 wood. Nice and expensive. Quest complete. Great. With this watering can and a hoe, I should be able to start farming. New quest. Wow, it's just quest after quest right now, isn't it? The first harvest. Now that I've got a hoe and a watering can, I can start farming. I should till and water some soil for planting and harvest 5 wheat and 5 pearl peas. Quest complete. <laughs> I guess I already had wheat and pearl peas in my inventory, so it says I did it already. Finally, farming begins to pay off. I should see what else I can grow, even though I haven't grown anything. Alright, let's let's put this to work. My door totally opens up into a ditch. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to flatten this out and put some dirt here so I can actually plant on it. So we'll just do this for now. And that way I can use it for crops. And we'll just continue on this way. Chop it all down. Timber! It reminds me of Christmas. When we were kids, uh... We'd always go cut down our own Christmas tree, and um, my dad and my mom, my sister and I would all go out and uh, to the forest and cut down a tree. We did not go to a Christmas tree lot. We actually cut our own tree down, and uh, it's always a big event when we finally found the perfect tree. And whenever my dad got to the point where it was about to fall, we'd all yell timber. <laughs> Cheesy backstory. 
but fond memories. Indeed. Uh-oh, it's getting dark again. It's a rabbit. Get rid of this background wall here. Don't need that. You had fake trees gaming giraffe? No, that's too bad. I love the smell of Christmas trees. They smell so good. It's like the smell feels Christmassy. Okay. We need some light over here, that's for sure. So we can actually see what we're doing. So we put a couple torches down. Where is our hoe? Hey, ho. <laughs> okay. Ho. And then we have some seeds, so what do you think? Wheat or rice? Pearl peas continue to grow. Maybe I should grow pearl peas. Let's do that. Okay, so we got our hoe now. Gonna hoe the dirt. Don't need to water it because the rain's taking care of that for us, so that's pretty cool. Hey Empire, thank you for the follow. Super fantastical. Storm, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, you guys. You're awesome. Super fantastical good. Why are my tilled soil disappearing as soon as I put it down? I don't understand. Hello, Zolan. <laughs> How's it going today? Nice to have you back. So if you hold down the planting button and just move along the ground, they'll actually plant them as close as they can uh, and grow. So you don't need to worry about trying to count out the spacing. They'll actually do it perfectly for you. So just a little tip to planting new crops. Yeah, it's pretty nice when it just tills and it's raining because I don't have to worry about watering it. That works out, right? <laughs> It's like that was a short little rainstorm, though. Zolan, you want me to plant rice? Okay, I have rice. I have two rice. We can get those in the ground. Why not? Two little rice plants. And I have eight wheat seeds. So let's get those in. Oops. My bad. Where are you headed to today, Zolan? You got grand plans? Gaming giraffes, cow just gave birth in Stardew Valley. Everybody give him a applause. Congratulations. My cows have not given birth yet. <laughs> How exciting. Free cow. Alright, where's my watering can? Let's uh let's water that real quick. The water seemed to disappear pretty quickly. Don't you think? Look at that. They're growing already. It's like as soon as they grow, the water goes away. So each stage... Yep. That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> you want Happy or Gaming Draft to name his new cow pie lord <laughs> oh, that's funny I need to buy some rabbits in Stardew Valley get my rabbits going man I can't water fast enough every time I water it's like water me again I could be watering all day <laughs> okay we have crops woohoo <laughs> Yeah, things do grow fast in here. It is not at all like Minecraft. You do not have to wait around. Things go pretty speedy. Okay. Hey, look. There's pixels right there. I think I'm going to make a better little staircase here, because right now getting out is a task and a half. It's like I walk into a wall, so we'll make a nice little staircase. That's a little better. That's better. That'll be better for now. 
like I said, this whole house here is very temporary. It's serving us for now, but we're gonna... We have grand plans. <laughs> okay. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. What's next on um, the missions here? Forging ahead, I need an iron anvil. Okay, so let's make an anvil. Okay, do that from the crafting table. Iron anvil. There you are. Eight iron bars. Wow, it uses almost all my iron. Quest complete. Perfect. Now I can craft all sorts of weapons and armor with this iron anvil. I should make myself some better gear before I head into more dangerous space. Okay, new quest. Ups and downs. It's finally time for me to obtain 20 ore fragments. I can obtain them deep underground near the planet's core. With those, Sail should be able to fix the ship's thrusters. Okay, so it looks like we're going to make an anvil and head underground. That seems to be the plan. Alright, so let's take our anvil. And, uh, I stack things in Starbound, so, um, a furnace on top of or an anvil on top of the furnace seems like a good plan, right? <laughs> you have a Minecraft server, Zolan? Yeah, um, is it a realm? Is that what you're playing on? Or do you have something else set up? Oh, look at all the tools we have now for producing shiny things. Iron blocks, a hunting knife, uh, axe. What's my current damage? So my weapon is a broadsword that does 10.5. So, looks like there's armor though. I could use some armor. That's true. I should go back to that mine I discovered. That wasn't too far away. I could go east and I'd probably get there pretty quickly because I went forever west. So, probably wrapping around. Your Minecraft server is a realm. Yeah, I had a realm for a while and, and I ended up not playing on it for a bit. So, I don't have mine right now either. Fault 2.0, so their broadsword does 14 damage. Also with a spin slash and the same swing speed, but I don't know if that's worth upgrading with my iron right now. I think I'd better spend it on armor. Because just two points, that doesn't seem like a big deal. And I'm using a two-handed weapon, so I can't use a shield. Well, that sounds like a great way to spend your evening, locks cup of tea and some Stardew Valley, hanging out with me. <laughs> it's awesome. Alright, we got a helmet. Where's my inventory? Let's check it out. A Knave's Helm. Plus 30% attack. Oops. 3 defense, 3 energy, and 3 health. So, woohoo! That ought to help. Okay, um, let's head over and see if we can't find that mine again. Oh, I just put up my torch. Oh, good job, Gaming Giraffe. You just finished the animal bundle. Good job. Way to go. Oh, this is a big hill. I'm on a huge hill. What the heck is going on? That's a dangerous spawn. <laughs> okay, we'll try not to die this time. Go down the hill just to have to get back up it. I can't make that jump, so we're gonna have to dig it out. Oh, and you upgraded to level 9 farming? Nice. Very nice. You're making me want to play Stardew. <laughs> I'm star bounding today instead of star doing. <laughs> we'll just ignore that monster and take a little shortcut through the ditch. Okay, looks like we're going to have to fight that one, though. No big deal. He's wearing a coconut. Or something. Like a burlap sack. How dangerous could he be? Oh, he's kind of tough. Oh, and he spawned more. Oh! Uh-oh. He got me. He got me.
monster was up there on the hill just singing a tune and then decided she needed to attack me because that was a better idea than enjoying the sunshine and singing. So if you're enjoying the broadcast today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and follow me here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I'm live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, so I hope to see you. And uh, if you'd like to make a donation to me, you can. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, you can do that directly from my Twitch channel or visit my website, redlacegaming.com. Uh-oh, I better be careful I don't fall off here and die. Ooh! Ouch! Manage time. <laughs> yeah, you can quote me on that. He's wearing a coconut. I said it. <laughs> you heard it first here. Why isn't it taking a bandage? I think I need to add more time to my expatter so my bandage gets used. It worked that time. I don't know what's going on. Okay, we're back at the entrance. That's not very far away at all. I'm going to steal some of these crates before we leave because I don't have any back at my little shack. <laughs> Coconuts can be fashionable. Hawaiians in their hula outfits, you know. It's a good look. The West Coast is uh, pretty dreary today. It's uh, gray out, but um, yeah, it's nice. I like gray weather. Works for me. I don't get any glare on my screen, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> How's it out there on the East Coast, Kate? Cat? I keep calling you Kate. I'm very sorry. Cat. <laughs> My apologies. I've only been to the East Coast once. I uh, spent some time in Palm Beach down in Florida. Had a pretty good time. A little too humid for my taste, but... Okay, these guys killed me last time. I'm not jumping in there. They're going to come out here. <laughs> You're in Cali, Gaming Giraffe? That's cool. It is not a very big mine, is it? If that's it, this is a small one. I'm used to them being much bigger. Ooh, but look at all the copper on the wall. We're going to take that. I like that the ore now spawns on walls, too. Did not used to do that. <laughs> all right, Zolan. You go rock those coconuts and see uh, see what people around you think. Be sure to YouTube that so we can all watch. <laughs> Pollen's everywhere here too, and I have killer allergies. I think I'm allergic to everything. So, uh, <laughs> yeah been sneezing a lot. It's not pleasant. You're in Washington, Zolan? Washington State or Washington, D.C.? Cats in Georgia. Home with the lovely peaches. I love peaches. Love summer for peaches. I really like the white flush peaches. Those are my favorite. Delicious. So if you ever want to send me some of those. <laughs> I like peaches. So how am I going to get back over? We're going to have to make a little tunnel, I guess. Washington State. I am in Washington also. So welcome, fellow Washingtonian. The beautiful, great Northwest. We did have some really nice weather a couple days ago. It was really sunny. It was absolutely beautiful. Rare for Washington in March, but I loved it. I 
I was going to say, Kat, you got what off of Peaches? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> I was reading that and I was like, what did she just say? <laughs> yeah, if you get sick from something, it is pretty hard to eat it anymore. I agree. I totally understand that. Living in Georgia, you've probably eaten your fair share of peaches anyway. Yay, I got you to play Starbound. That's awesome. <laughs> You'll love it, Gaming Giraffe. You should have seen me yesterday trying to fiddle with the controls. I was absolutely Starbound tarted. I couldn't do anything. I was like trying to open my inventory and I was jumping and wanting to jump and I was opening my inventory. It's great. <laughs> you have all the typos, huh? <laughs> it's okay, cat. It happens. <laughs> I need a new phone myself. My phone is like instanted all the time. It needs a new battery or something. I have to pretty much have it live on the charger these days. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I am back. Lox, you just got the large futon bear on Stardew. <laughs> Zolan has one, put it in the middle of his house. That's cool. I don't know if I have that. I have a big giant bear carving, but I don't think I got the futon. I wish the house in Stardew would actually expand on the outside, not just on the inside. I call it the Mary Poppins house. <laughs> Keeps getting bigger inside, but not on the outside. I think I'm gonna get some wood on the way back to the house, and then I think we're gonna go underground. I think it's time to do some mining. Make sure I have enough wood though for torches and such. Who needs proofreading? <laughs> You're keeping us entertained, cat. <laughs> You ran around your ship for three minutes trying to warp down? Good job, gaming giraffe. Sounds like something I did yesterday. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Monster. And the leg monster just struck as well, so that was pleasant timing. Get our flashlight out so no one surprises us. Gravity's pretty good on this planet, so I can actually jump pretty well, so that's nice. Some planets the gravity is very wonky. Either can jump really high or um, not at all. And uh, it's very interesting. Each planet has its own gravity too, so there's lots of interesting things about the planets. Alright, here's that cliff, so I gotta be sure not to kill myself. <laughs> I don't think your English teacher would agree with me, Lox. <laughs> I think they would tell you that proofreading is very necessary. <laughs> but, you know, in a casual chat sense, I don't think proofreading, you know, doesn't seem super necessary. Alright, we're back on top of our mountain and look at all our crops. Oh, and a coconut monster. Put the monster in the coconut and beat him with a sword. It's 
guy looks like a little a little dragon without the wings. Uh oh, he hit me. Blocking my door, dude. Coconut monster baby. Alright, you go that way, I'll go this way. How's that sound? <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we can harvest these pearl peas and I think they'll keep growing. I have to replant the wheat and the potatoes though. Oh, what just happened? I guess the potatoes aren't ready? Potatoes aren't ready. So let's replant the wheat. And it's raining, so we don't have to worry about watering, which is wonderful. It's a wonderful life in Starbound. You know, maybe I should just tunnel this out right here, and then I could use this to get into the mines. Or I could go up to get to the farm. We'll do that. Might as well, right? He looks like a little Don Dogo from Ocarina of Time. I haven't played that game in so long, I can't even remember what those look like. I'll have to take your word for it, cat. I think I played that one on the... that's the DS, right? I can't even remember, it's been so long since I played that one, but I seem to remember enjoying it. Alright, we're just going to use this natural tunnel here to get a little ways down since my matter manipulator is a slow digger. Looks like it goes down here, so that's, that's not bad. Get some of those free pixels. And we'll just start digging. So down we go. Probably should make, I guess I have some wood platforms, so I'm okay there. All right, time to make a hell of Ada. I probably won't stick around on this planet after I'm done here when my ship gets working again, so I don't really care so much what I'm making at the moment. I want to find a pretty planet with flowers everywhere. All right, gaming draft, we will see you when you get back from the store, hopefully. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, it did come out on N64, didn't it? Yeah, it was so long ago. Walmart's dangerous? I don't shop at Walmart, so I don't really know. I do know that one time I went to Walmart, and as soon as I walked in, I got a nosebleed, so I took that as a sign I probably shouldn't shop there. <laughs> I'm allergic to Walmart. <laughs> Okay, working our way down safely, going straight down. This is how I usually ascend or descend into planet cores. So uh, I follow tunnels naturally, but I like to just go straight down using tunnels because then you can get out easily as well. Although I think as part of the Glad Giraffe update, they added teleporting where you don't have to be outside. You used to have to be outside to teleport. And now you can see my teleporting icons available, so I don't need to worry about um, having an exterior available to teleport, so it's not as big of a deal now. Used to be you had to have a way in and out, and now you can just uh, teleport out anytime. But if I want to come back down into the mines, I don't want to fall to my death, so we're making it moderately safe. You were a baby back then when it came out? Oh, <laughs> making me feel old. <laughs> I loved uh, N64 when uh, the Mario Racing came out. Wario's level was so hard and it had like the best shortcuts. I was playing that for a long time. You do all your shopping at Safeway? Well, that's cool. Yeah, get your kid nephews gaming. Great plan. I like it. 
<laughs> oh, I'm out of torches. Let's go up where it's safe to make him. Yeah, I still have my DS. I uh, played occasionally. Not as often as I used to, but I do play it occasionally. Okay, and I need more platforms too. It looks like I'm almost out. So let's make some more platforms. Oh, we'll add 10 to that, Kate. <laughs> I don't feel old. I am proud to be 30. Alright, Bolt Gaming, thanks for coming by and have fun at the movies today. Hope it's a good one. This it's a little underground something. Ooh, and stem packs. Red stem packs are for healing. <laughs> That's a great saying, Storm. Growing old is mandatory, growing up is optional. I love it. It's awesome. <laughs> You've been playing Golden Sun on the Wii U? I don't think I've ever played Golden Sun. What game, uh, or what type of game is that? I'm a big fan of, uh, Super Mario Galaxy on the Wii U. That's probably one of my favorites. Come on, bandage. Take a bandage. Need to increase the timing for my bandages. They're not working. There we go. So I've set up x pattern so I can just click in the stick and take a bandage, but my timing's not long enough, so I need a longer delay. Yeah, Super Mario Galaxy. Ooh, look at the iron. It's one of my favorites on the Wii U, and uh, I've always liked Mario Kart. Playing that since Super NES. <laughs> a big Mario fan. I also liked Super Paper Mario a lot, too, but uh, I think the newer ones they kind of ruined. They kind of turned them into little kids' games, and I guess it's understandable because it is a Nintendo title, but for those of us that really liked Super Paper Mario and it's involved crafting, you know, it kind of ruined it, so it's a bummer. Monster! Looks like a, a spiky hedgehog thing with a voodoo mask. An RPG that came out on the Game Boy Advanced. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I haven't played that. Oh! He's after me! <laughs> At least we're starting to get some ore now. Getting ore. Oh look, I found clay. Learn to craft roof tiles and bricks. Lovely, lovely. I see some iron up here. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> hey Tyron, um, CSGO. What is CSGO? I'm not good with abbreviations. <laughs> Gonna have to spell it out for me. <laughs> but yes, I do play lots of other games. I play lots of games. I play a lot of Xbox games. Counter Strike. Um, no, I do not play Counter Strike. That is not a game I have played. Counter Strike Global Offensive. Nope, I haven't played it. I do play Call of Duty and I do play Halo. I play a lot of games, but um, yeah, Counter Strike's not one of them. Actually, just uh, bought. I don't know if you guys played Cameo 
on the Xbox originally, uh, the Xbox 360. It was one of the launch titles way back, like 10 years ago. <laughs> um, it's a really fun little uh, fantasy adventure game, and um, I got it for like $9.99 or something. It was super cheap, and it's such a fun game. I was like, I have to play that again. So I'll probably play that again here soon. It's not a, a huge game, so it probably won't take me very long, but it's so fun. I don't know if any of you have played it. I'm curious to see how old it feels, because I haven't played it probably in like 10 years. But I'm going to give it a try anyway. Playing Counter-Strike with a controller would be difficult. Yeah, some games are not built for a controller. <laughs> But I find a way with a uh, oh, ouch! With my X pattern, so I just program all the keys to whatever I want on the controller and make it happen. That was a little ore deposit. That was cool. These guys are kind of tough. They're so fast. All right, bandage time. Bandage, bandage. There we go. There's a lot of ore on the walls. I should just get that. Might as well. Have I played Kingdom? When did it come out? I just looked at the Steam store the other day on new releases and I don't think I saw it. But I like side-scrolling games, especially cute ones. <laughs> I'm big on the artistic style. If it's got a cute style, I'll usually give it a try. Well, I would love to play Kingdom. It sounds fun. If someone wants to uh, gift that to me on Steam, I would gladly play it and uh, do some streaming of Kingdom. It sounds fun. Zombies ate my neighbors? Oh my god. Somebody else knows what that game is? That's amazing. Zolan, wow. Um, I used to play Zombies ate my neighbors all the time when I was younger, and um, <laughs> nobody knows what that game is. But I have such fond memories of it. <laughs> I used to play it all the time. I remember that was so fun. Getting the ray guns and... <laughs> it's a great game. I love Zombies Ate My Neighbors. I haven't seen it or heard about it in ages, but I do remember it fondly. Classic. Classic. Running around, finding people. There's always the one guy that's barbecuing, like in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. He's just like hanging out by his barbecue, and there's a little girl jumping on a trampoline. <laughs> She's like, there's zombies? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Came out at the end of 2015, and it was $10. Oh, that's pretty cheap. That's not bad. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. Kingdom. I will look for that today, Cat. Thank you. So what were you playing Zombies Ate My Neighbors on? Do you have like a, an old school NES or Super NES? Ooh, I almost fell there. All right. Oh, you were a little too young, is he, for the NES? Yeah. My sister and I had one, and um, we played a lot of Duck Hunt, and Donkey Kong, and the original Mario, of course, which back then, you know, you didn't have multiplayer or split screen or co-op or anything, so you had to take turns, and uh, she's a lot older than I am, so she usually got to play a lot longer than me. <laughs> Come on, bug. 
Thank you for the pixels. Oh, there's another one. With the Atoll Vision. I don't even know if I know what that is. You still have all your old consoles on? That's cool. Yeah, I think for uh, my birthday a few years ago, my boyfriend got me an old school NES and uh, to bring back some nostalgia <laughs> and um, bought me a bunch of games for it and so I played it for quite a while and then we ended up just selling it again because it was just collecting dust on my shelf after I got my nostalgia moment back. <laughs> but it was the best gift. It was so fun. Mario Kart on the N64 is like one of my favorites for that console. That was so cool back then when that came out. Such a big step in graphics and all that. Okay, it's dark and spooky down here. Looks like there's another little structure over there. Go investigate. Okay, let's try to break through here. Hope that monster doesn't come down on my head. Oh no, he is! <laughs> it's like a little wall clinger. He can walk on any surface. Okay. Oh, I got him. It's safe. In television. I'm not familiar with that, Zolan. Not sure what in television is. Oh, this is a big fall. Be careful through here. Could end up down in the bottom of a pit. Try not to knock out my platform I just made. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Ooh! That was close. And television is games like Pong. I remember Pong. Oh, there's more of them. It's a fly invasion. Can't see anything. Ooh, a chest. What is in here? A tech drive. Yes! Blank tech drives are super valuable. That'll be handy. A Graxus Cyclone Plugger. Damage per shot, 2.2. Rate of fire, 2.9. Energy per shot, 5.1. And it does poison. So uh, that seems pretty cool. It's a pistol. Let's try it out. I haven't really used my pistol. I forgot all about it. Some wheat seeds, 80 pixels, 3 wheat, and a copper pick. That should speed some digging along for us. Let's uh, go ahead and swap that out here. So, copper pick. Oh yeah, that's nice. Copper picks have durability, unfortunately. All pickaxes do, unlike your matter manipulator, so the longer you use them, the quicker they wear out. And they don't have quite the range like the matter manipulator does. So, you know, like, I can't get that material, the iron right there, with my pick, but I could get it with my matter manipulator. So... The picks have their advantage and disadvantages, just like anything else. I want that chest up there. I have to go get it. 30 pixels? Why, thanks! Okay. Oh! I didn't want to fall down here, but I guess I did. 
Oh, monsters. Where's the light when you need it? There we go. Okay, another big ditch over there. Oh, that thing can cling to the ceiling. Those are like the little spiky turtles in Mario games. Hang out in the underground levels. <laughs> Go ahead and grab that copper. Seems like I should have a lot of material by now. I could probably make some more armor. Go away, fly. I got a fly swatter. Don't say it in warn ya. <laughs> Coal! I think I'm finding more ore on the walls than I'm finding on the ground. It's kind of funny. Okay. I love the music in this game. It's so nice and mellow. Very casual. Okay. And we're back on our journey down. That sounds like clay. It sounds wet. Or something. It does not sound like the rest. Water! Drain that out of there. Uh-oh. Looks like we have hit a big swath of water. An underground lake. Ooh. Where's my gun? Where'd they go? Can't see him. Oh, there's one. I can't tell if I killed him or not. <laughs> Oh well. Good enough. So I think I may have limited oxygen still because I don't have an air suit or anything. So I don't know how long I can be in the water. I can't remember. I'm mixing up maybe my starbound and terraria. Nope, there is air because I don't have an oxygen suit yet. Oh, why do you want me to die, Izzy? Lady Star Sprocket will live. <laughs> We're gonna drain this right into there. Let it go down that way. Oh. <laughs> Okay, well that's fine then. Yeah, I want the monster to die too. I am with you on that one. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see him blending into the water. This is a big thing of water. Very random. We need to drain from down here, I guess. So we get all of it, otherwise it's going to stop draining here in a minute. Oh, I'm almost out of air. Air, please. I guess I can just dig it from up here without the dangerous hazards of being underwater. Well, there we go. That works. Lovely. Finding all sorts of goodies. Bombs. I have 50 iron ore now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ninety-nine regular ore. Wowzas. Hardened carpus. Carapus. That's new. I don't remember what that's for. Matter modular component. I need that for upgrading my matter manipulator, so that's good. 
to try and organize some of this stuff here. Um, coal. Okay, that's still draining. I can wall it off on either side of the downward drive tunnel. That's a good idea. I could just wall it off, huh? Then I wouldn't have to worry about it. Put some dirt in my inventory here. Dirty dirt. Well, I guess it's <laughs> it's already drained now. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> now it's that hole's problem. Whatever is down there. Come on, water. Get out of here. I want to keep digging. Get out of here. More iron. Am I out of platforms? How did I run out of platforms? Um, let's make some more. Am I out of wood planks? That's why. Okay. So wood planks. Let's make a hundred. Craft a hundred planks. And then I'll make fifty platforms. Why is this wood platform not like the rest? And why am I in a chat thing all of a sudden? What's going on? Hey Joku, thank you for the follow. Glad to have you joining us. So that wood platform's strange, and it doesn't seem to want to stack with my other wood platforms, so we're just going to move it. Alright, back down we go. Oh yeah, I forgot I have a pickaxe. Speed that right along. It's not very good for digging down though, because uh, I like having my tunnel only too wide, so we're going to keep using our matter manipulator for that. And that looks like a nice big drop. Journey to the core in Starbound. I think I should be getting close. I feel like we've been digging an awfully long way. Probably good though, digging, because it uh, lets me stock up on ore, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Definitely need ore. I need armor. All I have is a helmet. <laughs> My helmet is not great protection against these wily little underground monsters. Sand! Yay, we can make glass now. That's exciting. Indeed. You should be careful with the sand in this game. It'll bury you and take you down with it. I'm getting some leg. Okay. Let's go back up here and make our, our tunnel go down. Cut right through the middle. Oops, oops, oops. Just kidding. <laughs> All right. More pixels. Hey, look, we are getting close to the bottom. We're starting to see diamonds now. Diamonds are a girl's best friend. A flare? Why, thank you. Look at that, we got one diamond. One little diamond. Ta-da! <laughs> Can't really make much with one diamond, but it's exciting nonetheless. Does anybody have any big plans for their Sunday today? Not much going on here today. 
It's kind of relaxing and mean mellow. Sounds like a good way to spend Sunday to me. Oh, I see light. There's light over there. What is that? Is it lava? More water. All right, we might have to take off the wall or take the wall. Ooh, it's a challenge portal. We found a challenge por portal. Yay! Let's go over to it. Sunday's almost over for you, Storm. What time is it where you are? I think it's only like... Mm, I don't have a clock in front of me, but if I were to guess, I would say it is about 1.30 maybe here in the afternoon. It's still pretty early for us out here on the west coast. Oh, it's pretty late. Almost 9 o'clock. Look at all the sand. I'm going to get barricaded. Oh good, it's not the, the loose sand. The fine sand comes down on you, but this stuff won't. There's a chest right below me. Yay! Okay, so I'm not really very well equipped for this challenge portal, but I'm going to go in it anyway because, well, I want to. 5.9, 2.2, 3.5, 4.5, 6.5, 7.5, 8.5, 9.5, 10.5, 11.5, 12.5, 13.5, 14.5, 15.5, 16.5, 17.5, 18.5, 19.5, 20.5, 21.5, 22.5, 23.5, 24.5, 25.5, 26.5, 27.5, 28.5, 29.5, 30.5, 31.5, 32.5, 33.5, 34.5, 35.5, 36.5, 37.5, 38.5, 39.5, 40.5, 41.5, 42.5, 43.5, 44.5, 45.5, 46.5, 47.5, 48.5, 49.5, 50.5, 51.5, 52.5, 53.5, 54.5, 55.5, 56.5, 57.5, 58.5, 59.5, 60.5, 61.5, 62.5, 63.5, 64.5, 65.5, 66.5, 67.5, 68.5, 69.5, 70.5, 71.5, 72.5, 73.5, 74.5, 75.5, 76.5, 77.5, 78.5, 79.5, 80.5, 81.5, 82.5, 83.5, 84.5, 85.5, 86.5, 87.5, 88.5, 89.5, 90.5, 91.5, 92.5, 93.5, 94.5, 95.5, 96.5, 97.5, 98.5, 99.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 100.5, 
use our pick for this so we don't drown. Don't think I'm interested in drowning. Okay, I'll drain it right there. Seems like a perfect spot. There you go, water. Have a nice time in your new home. Okay. Down we go. Well, getting started in Starbound definitely requires some time digging, so uh, day one's usually a pretty slow day just because you are spending a lot of time gathering initial resources because you don't have anything. But I like mining. I'm fine with mining. Get some more copper. Copper, copper, copper. Copper. Uh-oh. Monsters afoot. And another little structure. Looks like there's a chest up top. Right there. Let's head up and grab that. Can't let a good chest go to waste. 30 pixels. Thank you. So does anybody watch um, Charmed? I uh, have seen it a million times, <laughs> but I'm uh, watching it again on Netflix right now, just for the heck of it. Pretty funny little show. Little sci-fi fantasy. Okay. He's coming for us. That monster came from a ways away. Ouch! Ouch! Oh no! There's flies everywhere! Ah! Ooh, look at the size of that ore thing I just knocked out. If you could see it, it's kind of dark, I guess. Whew! We survive. We survive to see another day. Okay, it's over here. <laughs> um, I don't really watch a lot of manga, no. I do enjoy them when I see them, though. Actually, uh, like drawing cartoons and things, so I really like the manga style, so I, I draw mangas occasionally. Pretty good style for drawing. What about you, Izzy? You watch mangas then? I'm guessing. Oh, my pick just broke. Guess I have to go back to the matter manipulator. recommend I watch Grimgar. Okay. Well, thank you. Can I get it on Netflix? Is it on Netflix? Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting I don't have my pick anymore. Like sitting here staring at the wall, you're probably like, what's she doing? But I'm trying to <laughs> use my pick that I don't have. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I 
show you don't think it's on Netflix? Where do you watch it? Where do you get it from? Uh-oh, my health's slow. Sneeze and I almost get killed by monsters. Did my mic come back on? Uh, can you guys hear me? Sure, Izzy, that's fine. Okay, you can't hear me. Good. <laughs> I tried to mute myself when I sneezed, and the mute didn't work, I don't think, so I apologize. <laughs> but then I didn't know if the mute ended up working or not, so I couldn't tell. Look at all this iron. Iron Ore Christmas! Alright. Come on, Core Fragments, where are you? We want to go down to get the Core Fragments so we can repair the ship so I can show you guys how cool the outpost is. Alright, why can't I get down that hole? What's going on? There we go. <laughs> Had a moment there. <laughs> Couldn't get down. Uh oh. Looks like a dark and spooky cavern again. Seems like I should be close. What's going on? Okay. Ooh, look. We found something neat. What's this? Looks like there's a light in here. An avian stone tomb. Oh, a manipulator module. Thank you. I'll take that iron chest too, we'll rat it, and um, don't mind if I take your doors. Yeah, sure, that'd be fine, Izzy, thank you. Alright, looks like a, just a little structure here underground. Oh, look at that monster. What the heck? Got like coral growing out of their head. <laughs> There's another one. Coral head monster. Ouch. Ouch. Retreat. She's like spitting stuff on me. What is that? Oh man. Not cool. Not cool at all. What is this? Can I mine that? Doesn't look like anything. I thought I found something interesting, but I guess not. Get this copper while we're here. Might as well. For having that pick, I really want to pick back. I liked my pick. Okay, so we'll just keep going down right here. New tunnel. <laughs> the tunnel is relocating. Looks 
It's like I'm almost out of wood platforms again. Hey Ram, I am doing great, thank you. How are you doing today? I'm glad you came back for another stream. You enjoying your Sunday? Make more platforms. Um, let's make another 50. Let's get us a ways further. Hopefully we won't need 50 of them. Hopefully we'll get to the bottom here soon. Or to the planet's core so we can get our core fragments. <laughs> oh, I see some light down in the right bottom corner. What could it be? I can't see anything. Can't put torches down. Why can't I put a torch down? Oh, it's open down here, that's why. Extend the background wall there so we can put some platforms. We can ascend safely later. Monsters! I can look around a bit with control. Um, control. Trying to think what I put that on my controller. <laughs> oh, nice, Locks. You just got the minecarts repaired in Stardew. That's awesome. The minecarts are a huge time saver. I was really excited when I got the minecarts. Control keys. Um, oh, yeah, I see. Okay, so I can move my, my view around. Why can't I knock these out? What's going on? That's weird. Thanks for that tip, Storm. Alright, let's keep heading down. Looks like there's another little florin thing to my left here. Yep. A little mini florin underground biome going on. It's like the same building we just ran into. A diamond! Yay! Is there anything in the... nothing in the tomb. But I will take the doors. <laughs> I like the glitch castle doors. They're one of my favorites. All right. Put the light there just to make sure nothing's going to come at us. Tomb robbing with Lady Star Sprocket is right. <laughs> it's funny all the um all the glitch names, the presets were all like Lady something or Duchess or Baroness or Princess and kind of went through all of them and was like, eh. So I decided to make one similar, but I made my own. So I think there was like Duchess Sprocket Ship and I thought, well, that was kind of a clever one, but I wanted to be Star something because it's Starbound and I liked Lady better. So Lady Star Sprocket. <laughs> Those are pretty nice pillars up there. Get all that copper. If my crafting table wasn't so darn far away, I'd make some more pickaxes, but I don't want to go back up to make them. Hey, giver of death. Thank you for joining us. You just mined 12 diamonds in one spot. That is awesome. I think I have two right now. I've gotten one from one spot on the wall. And I got that one from the chest just now, so I have a whopping two diamonds. <laughs> I'm rolling in the sparklies. Have lots of copper and uh, iron, though. <laughs> Probably pretty well stocked in that department.
Do you mean how far am I in the game, Giver? Um, I just started this character today. I've played this game many times. This is probably my seventh or eighth playthrough. I can't even remember. But um, I started a new character, so people that hadn't played could follow along. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just getting started today. I'm working on repairing my ship, so I'm trying to go to the planet's core to get core fragments right now. So I'm working on making this elevator, which is a straight shaft to the bottom, um, to get down there. My elevator. How far are you in the game, Giver? Have you been playing for a while? My other characters, I have two or three of them during Glad Giraffe, I think, that I've played so far, and they're already finished with pretty much everything there is to do questing-wise, and my ships are fully upgraded, so it's time to start a new character, have some objectives. So if you're enjoying the stream today, please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I am live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, so I hope you'll come back and join me for another day. Um, you can also visit my website, redlacegaming.com, if you'd like to make a donation. Anything helps towards bringing me the ability to make you more gaming videos more often. I'd really appreciate any donation you can make. It really helped me out. Another monster. Whoa. Uh -oh. oh, poisoned. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. I'm blippity bleeping all over the place. Hey, thank you, Giver. Thank you for the follow. Oh, those monsters are tough. I didn't realize they had poison. Yikes. Do not want to be poisoned. <laughs> You're working on getting Graviton elevators working through your mod? That's cool, Storm. Yeah, they have made a lot of changes. Oh, I think I can see core fragments. I think we're about there. Yep, we have made it to the planet's core, so now we can get core fragments and repair our ship. Awesome. Wonderful. You just got your second ship upgrade giver. That's cool. What race are you playing as? I have chose the glitch, as you may have noticed. <laughs> With all my robot beep bop booping going on. I have to be careful down here now, because uh, lava can be around here during the core area. I'm out of torches. Need to make some more of those. I think let's make 20 of them. Okay. And pop those back up in my inventory. And we'll start collecting these core fragments. I'm worried if I grab those they're going to go straight down to the bottom. Oh, this is a hard material to mine through with my matter manipulator. So I think it said I needed 20 of these, so it shouldn't take too long. Probably enough right here. All in this one little area. Look at their spikes on the floor. Don't want to go over there. Lots of lava over to my right. Don't want to go over there either. <laughs> You're playing as a Nova Kid. That's cool. I haven't played as the Nova Kids yet. That's one of the few races that I have not played as. They didn't actually have the Nova Kids when I originally started playing. Back in Koala. That was a long time ago. Probably a couple of years ago. I don't.
don't know. I've never tried using my water can, watering can to make lava into obsidian. Does that work? That's not something I've tried before. Is that something you do, Storm? If it does work, that'd be pretty cool, because my watering can seems to be an endless supply, so I have water for days. Get rid of these spikes, because I know I'm going to walk on them just because it's something I would do. <laughs> yeah, I know that when water hits lava it can create obsidian tiles, but I'm used to having like draining pools of water down into the lava is the way I've always done it. I didn't know you could use your watering can. We'll go over there and try. Grab some more of these core fragments and I'll I'll go over there and look. Oh, there we go. Quest complete. Awesome. <laughs> now my ship's sail can repair the ship's thrusters and I can visit other planets in the solar system. Yay! Okay, let's go check out this watering can idea of storms. I have to dig through here to get there, but we'll do it. Hey, Happy Gaming, welcome back today. Nice to see you. How's your afternoon treating you? Oh, there is a spot of lava to my left. See, that's something I totally would have walked in. <laughs> um, what button do I have set up for water hand? There we go. One little tiny tile. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't know if it works. Let's try it over here where we can actually see because I can know I can hit the big pool. <laughs> We're going to find out, Storm. We're going to see here. Because if this works, this would be awesome. But I'm not optimistic now. All right, Kat, I will see you tomorrow. Have a good afternoon. Nope, looks like it just goes into the abyss. So the watering can does not work on the lava. Oh, that's too bad, Storm. I was rooting for it. Okay, let's go back to the ship and repair sail. Okay. We are back on the ship, which is in a very big need of repair, if I do say so myself. Okay. Can I upgrade my matter manipulator? With one manipulator model module, I can upgrade your matter manipulator to increase its mining power a bit. You should be able to find some by exploring. I think I have, so let's try. Success! Your matter manipulator has been upgraded with increased mining power. Lovely! Hey Rico, nice to have you back today. How are you doing? Matter manipulator upgrade to liquid collection. With two manipulator modules, I can upgrade your matter manipulator to allow the collection of liquids. Failure. So I don't have two. Looks like I need another one. But I can repair the ship's thrusters, so let's do that. I've gotten the 20 core fragments, so let's issue the command. Ta-da! Quest complete. Time for an upgrade. The ship has rumbled to life. There's still work to do, and I need to fix the FTL drive, but it's a start. 500 pixel reward. New quest. Free as bird. Now that I can visit the planets within this solar system, I need to start looking at how to repair my FTL drive. Sail probably no more. Oh, you're not doing very well, Happy Gaming? That's not good. You lost the championship game. One of the girls was fouled out. Oh, wow, that sucks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you lost the championship. I was rooting for you today. <laughs> yeah, give her... Uh, <laughs> I've had that happen too. NPCs do follow you around occasionally. As long as there's no guards around, you could always kill them. <laughs> Rico, you got married today on Stardew? That's awesome. Who did you marry? 
If we can get hold of 20 Urchius crystals from somewhere, I can repair our FTL drive. Unfortunately, I'm detecting no signs of Urchius crystals on any of the planets in this star system. We should see where the gate in this system leads us. Okay. Oops. Yeah, I can't do that. Leia. Cool. Does she have a decent looking room addition onto your house? Unlike Alex, who has the ugliest room I've ever seen. <laughs> Alright, so, um, looks like we should be able to open this door now. We can, so we can talk to our little pig. And, uh, can't add fuel yet, but we can use the command center. So the navigation. Just a bunch of artsy stuff. That's cool. Yeah, I like Leia. Hopefully she's helping you around out on the the farm. So we were on a pretty small planet. Shaula Muster V1-A. She keeps changing her floors and wallpapers, though. That's weird. I've never seen a, anyone do that. Huh. Must be part of her artsy thing. She likes decorating your house. <laughs> Oh good, locks. Yeah, Abigail. I've been through that one at 8 p.m. Yeah, that's a good one. If you're trying to marry her, you definitely want to go do that. Okay, so this planet is harmless. A lush planet teeming with life. And it looks like I have rain, lightning, uh, what's that one? Meteor showers, a light drizzle, and sun. Day length is 17 minutes. Gravity is almost normal. But we're going to mark this as home. So we're going to have this as our the beginning. And uh, I like to put a dot in front of the names so that that way they sort. So I can manage my sorting. Penny's room's filled with books. That's cool, Pavo. Yeah, I have Alex, so his room's filled with sports equipment. <laughs> <laughs> and exercise gear because he's always working on his abs. <laughs> Alright, so let's zoom out here. What planet is this? That's a desert. So we want to go to the gate, which is a strange gate of incalculably ancient origin. Okay, so before I do that, I'm going to head back down to the planet real fast and um, upgrade some of my tools here real quick before we leave. So I've bookmarked it so I can come back. But uh, before we go, we're going to go into our little shack <laughs> and upgrade some of our stuff. So let's go ahead and just turn all our iron into bars, and same with our copper. And we'll make some glass. Okay, so now that we've done that, Oh, now I can make metal syring medical syringes and empty bottles. So now I can make windows. Wooden windows. Let's make a few. I will get a pet house and a food bowl from the outpost for sure, giver. Thank you. All Leia does is help water crops and feed animals. Well, occasionally she should be able to fix your fences and um, she'll also make you breakfast in the morning if you have an empty slot in your inventory, but only some days. She has to be pretty happy to do that. Like I get a fried egg once in a while from Alex and Stardew. I don't know what the pig likes. Uh, I haven't had the pig before in um, Starbound, so I'm not sure what that pet eats. I guess uh, pigs eat mostly anything, right? So I guess I shouldn't feed it bacon, though. <laughs> don't want to make it a cannibal. <laughs> Alright, so we've made a couple windows. Yeah, you can get uh, your husband or wife in Stardew up to 12 hearts, I believe, and when they get to 12, they will actually give you a star drop. So uh, you'll definitely want to upgrade them to enough happiness to start giving you things like that. Alright, so let's knock this out. We'll make a really basic little window here. I 
There we go. And then there was a window. Woohoo! Sweet corn usually goes well with pig storm. Okay, thank you. Oh, you already got your star drop, Rico. Awesome. So it sounds like you're all doing good. Okay, let's take the anvil here and make some armor so we have a full set because right now all I have is a helmet. So the breastplate will give me plus 50% attack, 5 defense, 5 energy, and 5 health. Definitely want that. And then the knave's pants are 20% attack, 2 defense, 2 energy, and 2 health. Let's make one of those. Are you there at 8 p.m., Locks? Because you have to go after 8. Uh, yes, Giver, I do do colony deeds. I like to make colonies on my planets in Starbound, so um, I definitely will be doing that. Um, I know you can buy them from the frog merchant at the outpost. So we'll be definitely buying some colony deeds. I don't know about right away because I'm pretty low on pixels. I only have 1800 right now. Alright, now we have our armor equipped in our equipment slot and we've put on our outfits in the other slots so we can still have our pretty dress. Okay. That's weird if she's not there and you went into her room at 810 locks. Now the shop's locked. I actually missed it the first day and I just went back the next day and it worked. So, hey, my pig's happy. He's like, I'm so glad to see you. Okay, so let's head to the outpost. The first trip to the outpost with Lady Star Sprocket. It's a big day. <laughs> oh, I don't have any fuel. Um, hmm. Well, I can't remember. How do I get there without fuel? Need to start looking at how to repair my FDL drive. Sale will probably know more. Um, I'm lost. I can't remember what to do. 20 Urchius crystals. I don't know where to get those except for from the outpost. And it's said to go to the gate. Hey, Gaming Draft. Welcome back. No, I'm on Stable Branch Giver. I can't access my fuel. I'm stuck with Haley at 8 hearts too, but I know you can get other people to 10. You just have to keep trying. If it's on your solar system, you don't need fuel. You should be able to get to the outpost. That's what I thought. Why didn't that work? So, let's try again. So, I'm right here. This is where I am. So, if I back out one... Oh, there we go. You're right. I didn't click it properly. Thank you, Storm. <laughs> My bad. User error. <laughs> okay, I need to install that mod. There's a mod that you can get that gets rid of the fast travel animation behind you and the animation you get when you beam down to planets because it kind of makes me dizzy. So, um, I want it to go away. <laughs> I need to install that mod. I'm playing vanilla though right now. I don't have any mods installed. Um, what happened while you were gone? Well, we managed to get our ships ship repaired, so now we are headed down to the outpost for the first time. We did a lot of mining while you were gone, and got lots of iron, and made an armor set, and uh, yeah. Ancient ruins such as this can be found throughout the galaxy. I'm detecting a spatial Oh, I didn't get to read it all. I missed the message. Oh well. The Ark. This is new. This wasn't in here last time I played. Mysterious Ruin? I don't know what that is, but let's go to the... Oh! I clicked the wrong one. We're going to the Mysterious Ruin. Oops. <laughs> well, let's see what it is. Yeah, so if I get that mod installed, I'd get rid of all this. It just instantly teleports you. Oh, 
Did my teleporter just disappear? Oh no. Okay. This is dark and spooky. This arc is new though. It wasn't here last time I played. You have a huge craving for Taco Bell, Rico? <laughs> I haven't had Taco Bell in forever. I don't eat a lot of fast food, but I do like tacos. We make tacos pretty regularly around here. <laughs> You're gonna go get Taco Bell? Okay. Well, enjoy it. So, I'm confused. This just seems like nothing's here. So I think we're gonna go back and go to the outpost. This was a mistake anyway. I didn't actually mean to come here, so... Oops! Wrong button. Return to gate. Hey, Pava. Thank you. I will activate the teleporter at the outpost for sure. Good tip. Yeah. Then you can skip all this back and forth, and you can just go straight to the outpost every time. It's always nice. I'm sure everybody will have things for me to talk to them about while I get there. Do you spend a lot of time at the outpost in Starbound? It's where you manage all your quests, more or less. Go back, and you can also do shopping here, so... The dog always greets you at the gate, which is nice. <laughs> What's Taco Bell, Izzy? Uh, Taco Bell is a fast food restaurant here in the United States that serves um, just like American Mexican food, more or less. So plain tacos and burritos and some other things that are very weird. <laughs> so the Infinity Express doesn't sell a lot. Meatballs, soda, chocolate, climbing rope, flare, medical kit, and bandages. But we're more interested in selling some stuff right now. I know I have some junk I'm carrying around that I'd like to get rid of. That I know I'm going to have no need for. Not everything has dollar values, but a lot of things do, so... Oops. That was the wrong button. Sell one of those. 28 gold. Sell this pistol. Um, I don't really like the oil lantern, so we're gonna sell it. You can sell a lot of the stuff you find. I don't know what's up with this weird platform. Can I sell it? It's not worth anything, but I'm gonna get rid of it anyway. And this other gun, I don't need it. Don't use bombs. So we'll get rid of that. Make a little money. 90 pixels, that's not bad. The ruins are for the incoming storyline missions. Okay, Storm, thank you. All the quests. Oh, don't run away. Come back. Come back! This lady needs to hold still. <laughs> Gear up! If you're serious about exploring the universe, you're going to need better equipment. Tell you what, if you bring me a wooden crafting table, I'll upgrade it to an iron crafting table and show you how to make one yourself. Head to the teleporter shop and use their teleporter to help you get it faster. Okay, we'll definitely be doing that. You always have trouble with storage in this game, Pavo? Yeah, I am... Um... I usually make a big storage room on my ship and store all my stuff there and try to label it as best I can using the um, label maker thing up there. Um, but yeah, there's always a lot of stuff you need to store. And I sell all my junk. I don't want to hold on to a lot of it. Okay, so... Oh, they sell flowery grass seeds now? I always look for flowery grass seeds. I love those. Make the ground pretty. Alright, so we want to buy the food bowl, for sure, for our pig, the pet house, and the ball makes them happy when you play, so we'll buy a ball, and uh, have to figure out what the dog or the pig likes to eat. I'll buy a canned food for now, just see if uh, the pig likes that. Yeah, there are good mods for auto-sorting. I um, did a video on my YouTube channel about a good mod for auto-sorting. 
auto storage solutions. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen that video, check it out over at my YouTube channel, Red Lace Gaming. So we will bookmark the outpost, and we'll put two dots in front of it so it always appears on top of our bookmark list. So now we can use the teleporter to travel to other teleporters we have, but we only currently have the one on our ship, so I can buy more teleporters here, but I don't have any teleporter cores yet, so I can't buy any. It's like I need 15 diamonds to buy one. That's different. It used to cost uh, money. Apples? You think a pig would like apples? That's probably a good guess. Yeah, flags are very good for marking locations if you're traveling one way. I think flags are very handy. I did a whole video uh, a while back on flags versus teleporters in Starbound, and uh, a lot of useful tips in there. Can't upgrade my ship yet. That's where you go to upgrade your ship. This guy will sell you vehicles and stuff down at Penguin Pete's vehicle lot. I haven't ever used any of these. This is new. Last time I played it was here, but I don't think I ever made a vehicle, so... You use water planets as hotels? That's a good idea. Yeah, I like to think of flags as one-way teleporters and teleporters as two-way teleporters because you can travel to a flag, but you can't use a flag to travel anywhere else. So, but flags are really cheap. I um, I definitely like to use flags. That's the ore guy. This guy sells ore and other miscellaneous things for crafting. So some coal and ore. And this will update as you find different levels of ore. It'll show up in here. Yeah, if you use flags instead of teleporters, if you just need like one-way trips, like uh, one thing I really like doing with flags is if you're out exploring a surface of a planet and you come across a village and your inventory is full, for instance, you can mar put down a flag, head back to your ship, and then uh, unload all your inventory, and then teleport back to the flag and break down all the stuff you want from the village, and then you can use the teleporter to get back, but I just break down the flag before I leave. So I can use it for like a temporary teleporter because you can actually take the flags with you, but the teleporters break when you break them, so. Yeah, I like Pavlo's idea of a resort. That seems pretty cool on the beach. That'd be awesome. The hover bikes are pretty decent, good for a fast scout on the surface of a planet. Okay, Pavo, I will keep that in mind. I'll definitely need to save up for a hover bike then. So this is the sign design person, and um, you can make your own signs here to label all your stuff, which is pretty cool. You can use the printer here. If you have a sign, you can put it in the input, and then um, you can duplicate it so you don't have to make a new sign from scratch. You can make a sign that looks similar to the one you've already made. Um... I definitely spend a lot of time usually at the sign design person <laughs> trying to make stuff, so let's head up to the top floor. A lot going on here at the outpost. I'm feeling a little bit of leg. Alright, so the frog furnishing guy, his inventory changes every day. He always sells a few things, like the colony deed and lamps, but his um, extra stuff here, so the featured click on Featured. His Featured list changes daily. It looks like today is Steampunk Furniture, which uh, kind of goes, I guess, with my whole glitch look. Robotic and so forth. I kind of like the armchair. Let's buy an armchair. That's good looking. <laughs> the bed seems very, very robotic. Might as well just buy one of each. Why not? I don't know if I want the globe, though. Buy a couple lights. And a shelf decorator and a globe. Okay. We are steampunked out. Colony deed costs 750 but when you place it in an enclosed building with at least one door and a light, someone will move in, which is wonderful because they will give you gifts and sometimes missions. 
So they'll give you like food or items and they'll give you pixels a lot. Um, so a colony deed is super handy to have. So uh, let's go ahead and buy one of those. And we'll think about making a colony here. So looks like we need to head back to our ship and go down and get our crafting table to bring it back to that gal to make an iron crafting table. So she'll exchange it for us. So I'll use the teleporter to beam back to the ship. And we'll put down our stuff for our pig. Give him his, his little house. He can be right there. Put his food bowl down. And need to put some food in the bowl for him. So let's try canned food. He's coming running. Go get it, piggy. He likes it. So the pig likes canned food. He seems pretty happy about it. Think he'll play with the ball? Go get it. <laughs> yeah, piggy. <laughs> you made a prison giver? Oh no. <laughs> you have slave labor. If you put the whole furniture of a theme and a colony in a room, you get a special NPC. Oh yeah, isn't it like themed? So if I make a, a steampunk room, I'd get a steampunker NPC. That's awesome. I will do that. I will make that little hut down on my house, a steampunk house. Go do that real quick. Um, where is my home planet? It's going to make me go back. Okay. You chose Avian Gaming Giraffe? That's cool. Avians have a pretty cool ship. It's all gold. Okay. You used to be able to set a planet as your home planet. Can you not do that anymore? Doesn't look like I can do that anymore. Like it used to be one of the options, like set as home. But I don't see it. You used to be able to travel to your home planet without having to actually take the ship there. It would just go automatically. But it does not look to be working that way anymore. So we're going to throw our sleeping bag down on our ship so we have a bed so we can heal. When you sleep, you heal. You get the little medical signs popping up there, the red ones. Might as well sleep. There's nothing else to do on the ship right now. Definitely need to start making some chests and inventory management. That's going to be on my list of things to do for sure. Okay, so let's beam down. Um, I don't know if they buffed the staffs or not, Pavo. I'm not sure. I don't think I've used staffs, so uh, I don't know. I think my house is too small to have a villager. I think I need to expand it real quick. So, where's my wood? Let's make this house a little bigger. Get some wood, some roof tiles. Just knock this out right here and do it right next door. And then we'll get an NPC to move in. Might have to be two story so we can actually, uh, get up there. Alright. Put in some floors. Your character's name is Ammo Moonshine. <laughs> oh, that's a great Nova Kid name. I like it. That's cool. Okay, so we're going to knock this out. Yay, Lox tr triggered his Abigail event. Congratulations. Alright, we're going to make the wall go up here. So this needs to be flush. Let's bump that up there like that. How many up is this? How many tall did I do the first floor? Two, one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, roofs on nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Perfect Amundo. Alright, so we'll make the door up here now. Knock out some of this, so. Um, has the performance been fixed in this game? Um, I am not sure about that. It seems to be running pretty well, but when I go to like the outpost or something, it gets kind of slow there. But for the most part, I don't think it has a lot of trouble, so maybe. But you found Abigail in the room at like 10 o'clock? That's good. I'm glad you finally found her. Alright, where did my door go? Um, I got glitch doors. replace our other doors here. Oh, I can't remember the controls! <laughs> here we go. Okay, we need walls. Probably going to need to put in some windows over here, too. Don't want anyone living in a cave. Um, windows. I have to make those at the crafting station, don't I? Um, window, window, window. make ten windows, so that's not a lot, but it'll do us a little bit. Um, windows. There they are. Okay. Okay, looks like upstairs won't have windows. To the window! <laughs> to the wow! <laughs> I got your locks. <laughs> okay, let's fill up the upstairs. It's going to be windowless up here for now. Get windows for it later, but... For now, we won't have windows. Looks like I need more wood. Where's my wood? Looks like I'm running low on wood, so I don't want to make all this. I'm going to need to chop down some trees, it looks like. No trees! Penny's letter says meet you at the bathhouse after dawn. <laughs> after dark. Oh yeah, that's strange. She wants to meet you at the bathhouse. <laughs> that's different. That's a different choice. Alex takes you on a date at the, um, the Star Drop Saloon. So that was pretty nice. Alright, so where should we put our bed? Should we put our bed upstairs or downstairs? Seems like we should put it downstairs, because technically the upstairs is kind of the entrance. So there's our new bed. And, uh... We'll put our giant desk up here, I think. This is huge, this desk. What does one need such a big desk? And it's only got 16 storage slots. That takes up a lot of room for being such a big desk. Big comfy chair to sit at during his work time. We'll uh, put in a couple of these weird lights. Looks like I needed to get two more. Have to do that next time at the outpost. This is a giant shelving unit, too. 
can even fit here? Barely. Look at how huge this is. It's crazy big. Alright, well I guess it's going right there. And then, where do we want to put the globe? The globe's kind of ugly. I don't know if I like the globe. I think we're going to pass on the globe for now. And we'll get our colony deed. And we'll slap that right on the wall here. Yay! Curious, did you need me for a particular reason? It is a glitch steampunker. And they're not a merchant. Once in a while you get a merchant, which is nice, but he's not. Yay! We have uh, our first person in the house. Hopefully he won't leave all the doors open. Nope. He's going to leave all the doors open. <laughs> oh, he closed it. They must have fixed that. Uh, I remember last time I played, they'd just go in and out of the house all the time and they'd leave the doors open. So there was constantly monsters in the house, which was terrible. Very annoying. Maybe put the globe in here. There we go. Yeah, he actually closed his doors behind him. That's a nice refreshing thing, having them close doors behind themselves. Okay, so what mission do we have? We need to take the wooden crafting table back to the gal at the outpost. So let's go do that. Getting back on track here after I spent some time decorating. <laughs> to the outpost. So uh, we don't have to travel there on the ship now. We can just fast travel to the teleporter, to the two-stop teleshop. Uh-oh. Leg. I can't move. <laughs> okay, where is this lady? Does anybody see the gal with the blue ex- There she is running around again. Have to catch her. Quest complete. Great, here's the iron crafting table and now you can make your own. If you're interested, I have another task that you might be able to help with. So we now have the iron crafting table and it looks like other people have missions for us now. New quest. I hate finding bugs. Can you help me find some? If you can catch a bug for me in a bug net, I'll give you a manipulator module I've found. Well, that'd be worth it. Sure, we can do that. Let's go talk to this person and see what they want. New quest. Rent well spent. My landlord is a jerk. He's going to kick me out of my place if I don't get him a bar of chocolate. They sell them at Infinity Express, but I haven't got any pixels. Can you help me out? Well, I don't know. I only have 41 pixels. Can I afford a bar of chocolate? I can. It's 40. <laughs> I made it by one pixel. She's lucky. Lucky gal. I just spent all my money on her stupid chocolate bar. It's a good idea to make rooms for guards with a weapon chest since NPCs forget to close doors sometimes. Okay, thanks, Pavo. I'll keep that in mind. Good tip. Quest complete. Thank you so much. Maybe it is time I found a better place to live. You seem like a nice person. If you head to the frog furnishing store, you can become a landlord yourself. I will tell the others here of your kindness. I already am a landlord. I'm ahead of the game. Alright, everybody's got missions. New quest, the funny pages. By golly, I've been planning a stand-up comedy show here on the outpost for weeks, and my script has gone missing. It must be around here someplace. Can you help me find it? I know where that's at. That's upstairs in the bathroom. <laughs> in the garbage can. Butcher, baker, widowmaker. Being a bounty hunter is hard sometimes. I have feelings too. 
If I had a cake, I could apologize to the widow of my last victim. Bring me a cake, and I'll give you a cool sword and a little something extra for your trouble. Okay. Um, you need to use the alternate tool to make walls. Um, I'm using a controller, so I'm not sure what the button combination is. Maybe a uh, Storm or Pavo can chime in and let you know. Um, but yeah, the walls is a background object where foreground is the front. Right click. Thank you, Pavo. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's a, a trigger. <laughs> Do you like my clothes? I love human clothing. If you bring me a cool jacket, I'll give you something nice. That's the Florins. They always speak with extra S's. going on up here. Contributing to society. The dish appears to be non-functional. A tiny diamond inside looks cracked. I should give the apex scientist a diamond so she can fix it. Okay, well where's the apex scientist? Because I have a diamond on me. There she is. Nope, I sat in the chair instead. Okay, come back. Quest complete. This is for the radar dish? Thank you! This radar detects potential asteroid impacts and I didn't even know it was broken. Take this down to the two-stop teleshop. I think you'll find it very useful. So I got a teleporter course, so now I can actually make a teleporter, which is cool. Oh good, Pavo just saved, saved gaming giraffe. Now I can make walls. <laughs> Sorry I can't help since I'm using my controller. I'm not sure what that button is. Help, I need somebody. I've received a distress signal from a nearby lunar mining facility. If you wish to investigate it, you should make yourself a set of steel armor. Craft it by using an iron furnace and a metal workstation. You'll also need iron armor in order to craft it. Come back when you're equipped and I'll give you the coordinates and a bio implant that allows you to breathe when no oxygen is present. So we're not quite ready for that yet. The lunar mining facility would kick our butt right now. <laughs> Alright, is there any more quests going on? Oh, the leg is real right now. Okay. No more quests. Oh, I did want to buy a couple more of those funky lights, though. Can I afford a couple more of the funky lights? I don't know. I can buy two of them. Look at me blowing all my pixels. <laughs> blowing all my pixels. This cat hat is ridiculous. I can't even look at myself without laughing. <laughs> no quest from them. Okay, so two stop teleshop. Looks like we need 3,000 pixels to buy a teleporter. So uh, we can't quite afford one with our measly 21. But we'll be back. We will get a teleporter. For sure. Okay. So let's head back to our little dinky shack of a steampunker planet. I didn't put the roof on, so I should probably do that. First time you played the mining facility, it crashed. That's a bummer. Yeah, that sucks. Hopefully you got all the secrets, the spacesuit, while you were there. If not, I um, I did do a video on where to get all the secret items in the Urchius Mining Facility, and it's over on my YouTube channel. You can watch me play through the whole thing live. It's in front of my previous playthrough, so it's not recent, but... Well, we don't have a lot of these steampunker lights. We just have a few of them. So we're gonna place them sporadically. There we go. So now we have light everywhere. We do need a roof. Um, where is the... I guess I have to do it at the crafting station, which I don't have down right now. Here we go. The door is open. We definitely need to make guard station. Do they just need that uh, 
the weapons chest? Is that all they need to... We don't want to make that many. Um, let's make 50. Do they just need the weapons crate to make a guard spawn? Is that all it is? I can't remember. Oh, there's my roofing. It's up in my inventory. Aha! Slap this roof on. Oops. Looks like we did the last one three high, so we'll do this one three high also. There we go. Now we have a roof. My chimney kind of needs to extend down, don't you think? It looks funny being only partial. So uh, I think we're going to switch our furnace and our crafting table so it looks like it's part of the, the scenery here. So it actually looks like a, a chimney. So, let's break that and move it over here. There we go. Now it's like part of the chimney. Put our crafting table here. There we go. Now it looks like it has a little purpose. Okay guys, well uh, I think that'll do it for today in Starbound. I had a really great time hanging out with you all on Sunday. Please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live here on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming. I am live every day at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time, so I hope to see you again tomorrow. And uh, if you'd like to make a donation, I'd greatly appreciate it. Everything goes towards funding my ability to bring you more gaming videos. And uh, you can do that through the donate button on my Twitch channel or through my website, redlacegaming.com. Top donators do go on my streams uh, each week and each month. So uh, if you'd like to help me out, that would be awesome. So I will stick around and chat for a minute, but otherwise I'll see you tomorrow.